the eLeaf iTap TC pod system. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben here, back with another quick look video. Today we're having a quick look at this. This is the new eLeaf iTap pod system. Uh, a very interesting new pod system from eLeaf. We'll get into why it is interesting in just a second. Um, it's got a few things going on this uh, that a lot of other pod systems don't have. So I'm just going to run through what it's got going on. 2 mil capacity. Um, pod style system it's an all-in-one pod style system uh, the big difference here is it's got adjustable airflow on the coil head and uh, it has actual removable replaceable coils as well um, so what you've got going on here is you can unscrew the coil head pull it out and put another one in you don't throw away this this bit here <laughs> uh, you don't throw away the actual pod section so it's got changeable coils it has got um, a wide variety of changeable coils. The kit as you get it comes with a 1.6 stainless steel TC coil head, a GS Air 1.6 SS and it also comes with a 0.75 Canthal coil head which obviously isn't TC. Sorry if you can hear the rain pouring down it is absolutely having a bang outside. Um, so yeah so it's got adjustable airflow, changeable coil heads you don't throw the pod section away um, it's got onboard charging. It is 800 Ma, which is very, very impressive for a pod style system of this size. 800 Ma and battery life does seem very good on it as well. Five clicks on, five clicks off, all the safety features, a range of colours available. The one really outstanding feature it has uh, in terms of functionality compared to other devices similar to this is TC. This actually has TC. It's completely built in, it's completely fixed. If it recognises that it's the 1.6 stainless steel coil, it, it works in TC, it operates in TC. If it thinks you're getting a dryer hit or you're about to have a dry hit, it doesn't let you vape. It flashes two times and says, no, you can't vape it. Um, it also cuts back as well. It seems to cut back as well if it's getting warm but not too hot. Um, so it has actually active TC. It has a little board in about here um, that actually does TC if it's that coil. If you switch over to the 0.75 Canthal coil, it's just a straight wattage device. Uh, so it can do both. It can do both, but built in TC with this little pod system. Very interesting indeed. I currently have in the 0.75 coil head the Canthal one and it is vaping a bit like this. A very genuine mouth to lung pod style vape that is with one air hole open. If I take it apart and I open it up to three air holes open it's vaping more like this. A very restricted direct to lung vape. Uh, so you can have it as you like. I like it with this one hole and uh, this is the coil head I recommend. This is the coil head I recommend for this kit. The 0.75 Canthal one. For me this is a much better vape in the Canthal mode. The TC in here is working. It does work. But I don't know if it's the over sensitivity of the auto TC in here or the coil head itself, the 1.6 stainless steel coil head, but something about the vape in TC mode just isn't great. What has tend to, tended to happen with me, I started with a TC coil obviously, what tended to happen with me was I would take one big drag, two big drags, the third it would say no, you can't have a vape yet, it's too hot. Um, or it would just be a very, very weak, very limp vape. I mean, it's only uh, five to 10 watts anyway, that coil head but it's, it just was very weak or it just said no and I wasn't enjoying the TC experience with this pod kit at all so although it's really cool that it's got TC uh, it's a really interesting feature to add to a pod kit like this it, for me it's not quite working correctly yet um, the, it's either the coil head or the over sensitivity of the board but something with the way it vapes in TC just isn't very good in my opinion But it's the TC that got me interested in this pod kit. 
But actually, when I switched it over to the 0.75 Camphor Coil Head, I really enjoy the vape on this as a, as a pod system. Uh, it's a very nice mouth to lung, it's very flavoursome, it's just the right amount of cloud production in my opinion. And uh, I'm really enjoying the mouth to lung 0.75 Camphor Head. So the reason I was interested was the TC, but in actual fact, my personal experience and what I'm saying to you guys is, actually in TC mode, it's not quite right yet. If it's the coil head, I don't know. If it's the, the board inside here, I don't know. But the TC vape, I'm just not enjoying the experience with it at all in TC mode, I'm afraid. Um, it definitely works. It definitely detects your temperature of the coil, but for me, it's oversensitive, and it's it just st keeps stopping me vaping after two or three drags each time. So, yeah, not enjoying the TC vape. Don't recommend the TC vape on here, but do like the vape with the 0.75 camphor. So it's going to be widely available. It's only going to be about £20. It's available in a range of colours. It's very well made in true e-leaf style. Uh, very rigid. Great battery life at 800 ma. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Adjustable airflow, which I think is fantastic. Um, it's a really nice mouth-to-lung draw as well. Or a very really restricted direct-to-lung if you adjust it. Um, yes, a changeable coil heads is good as well. It's nice to just throw the coil head away as opposed to throwing the whole thing away. Um, I do prefer that style. It also means that they can add coil heads down the line as well. I believe other GS coils should work in here, could work in here. Uh, so there is a range of GS coils available for you guys to pick up as well. So the coil head thing, the adjustable airflow thing, there's some real positives to this kit and I really am quite enjoying the mouth to lung. For a pod vape, I'm enjoying the mouth to lung. Uh, with the 0.75 camphor head. So some good pros and some good features to this pod kit. For me, the TC hasn't worked. This is just a quick look. If you're super interested in this kit, check out a full review. Um, but uh, for me, the TC hasn't quite worked on here, I'm afraid. Uh, but overall, a very solid pod with the camphor head. And I think it's good that they're still innovating with these kits. Trying to add TC, I think is, uh, I give Eleaf credit for attempting that. Uh, fitting a TC board into such a small device is excellent. Comparing it to other pod kits, you've got your Tesla one here. This is the Wii Pod from Tesla. It's uh, slightly taller, but obviously very different shape to that. A uh, bit thicker, it's 20 mil thick. Um, but it's tiny, it's small, it's small. It's like holding an 18650 in your hand and just vaping it. Uh, so overall, re relatively impressed with this kit. Um, the TC isn't quite there yet, I'm afraid, but uh, everything else about this, I think it's pretty good for a pod kit. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.